Africa was once populated by hundreds of thousands of rhinoceroses. Africa's national parks have had to ramp up security because more and more poachers are heavily armed. The fight against poaching is turning into a war. The rangers in South Africa's Kruger National Park don't want to be recognized out of concern for their family's safety. From years back, um, rangers, we used to focus more on environmental stuff. And, um, and with time, it seemed to have been a switch of us being more military in some, in some ways. Like you can see, I'm carrying a rifle. There are often firefights between the rangers and illegal hunters. If the park employees manage to arrest poachers out hunting rhinos, they're often hauled before the magistrate court at the park's Kakuza camp. It deals almost exclusively with cases of poaching. Most of the detained poachers are young men. They face decades in jail, says state prosecutor Anzi Venter. They destroy their own lives. I mean, they get to go home after 10 or 20 or 30 years, uh, leaving the family devastated with absolutely no income because to the best of our knowledge, the crime bosses don't, don't, don't worry about the family. The men, many of whom come from Mozambique, receive about $500 for a successful hunt. That's a lot for the impoverished people here. And it makes a huge temptation. Often the men spend all the money on a single weekend. Then they return to the hunt, killing rhinos until one day they're finally caught. Around 400 of them are tried in the court every year. Lawyer Mike Nognane often defends young poachers. They, actually, the syndicates or the, the dealers, they can approach anyone. Looking at their educational background and their reasoning capacity, they tell them there's a lot of money. They don't tell them about the risk involved. So I would say they are victims as such. Victims or perpetrators? In any case, they're small criminals. Others are making the big profits from the illegal wildlife trade. If the killing continues unchecked, elephants and rhinos may disappear from the wild in Africa by the middle of the century. The rhinos are wiped out, and what's gonna follow? Maybe elephants, and then one day there will be another order for lions, and then leopards, and then someday we'll be fighting each other for the last buck that will be left in this vast huge of lands, which used to be called Kruger. And um, imagine in years to come, if you come back here, uh, maybe in 30 years, and then you walk around this huge land, two million hectares, and then you don't find a single animal. What would it be like?